Hello, I'm Ray Luna. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For today's reading, we're looking into what is the gossip on you? What are people saying about you? What do they think about you? So for group number one, we have Selenite and the Four of Pentacles. For group number two, we have Goldstone and the Devil. For group number three, we have Yellow Adventuring and the Queen of Wands. So take your time and pause the video if you need more time to decide. And when you are ready, head to the description and click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. And quickly before we start, I would just like to say that I'm going to start posting more on both TikTok and Instagram. So if you guys are interested, you can follow me on both platforms at Ray Luna Tarot. And feel free to suggest uh, any type of content you want to see there, I'm open to suggestions. And as always, thank you guys for the support, and I hope you enjoy this pick a card reading. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your reading. With your cards here, we have the Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups, and the Lovers. So what I see here for the gossip on you, with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you guys are seen as someone who is really resourceful. So let's say if you're going through a period of time in your life where you don't have a lot of stability, I feel like you guys come across to other people as someone who has things put together. So even if you're not wealthy, people might think of you as someone who's rich or someone who's stable. They're like, oh, you know, look at him or her. Look how well they're doing. Look at all these things they have. Like, maybe you have designer items, not because, you know, you went to the Gucci store to get a $3,000 bag. Like, you thrifted that. You went to the thrift store and you found designer items. So, it makes you seem rich. Like, you guys are someone who comes across as wealthy because of your thriftiness, your resourcefulness. And people notice that about you. They talk about that behind your back. They're like, oh, look at that item they have. They must be super rich or they must have got a bonus at work. You know, <laughs> like people are saying that about you because you come across that way. I also think it's possible too because I picked up on resourcefulness and like thrifting. Like this makes me think of the thrift store, Goodwill, um, some, some type of store like that where you're going to get items or you're looking through things and you know, you're able to find treasures, you're able to find things other people thrown away or they donated and you're able to find value in those items, in those things. So some of you guys might be really good at thrifting. You might um, just like to thrift. You might go to different thrift stores. Like you're a regular at a thrift store and people are like, oh, it's so-and-so again. <laughs> like the workers there, like they know you uh, because you go in a lot. Um, but for others of you, it's just like you have that resourcefulness and like um, that thriftiness other people don't have and people could be jealous about that um, because that is really something I feel like you have to just have that naturally. Like you have an eye for treasure or things other people don't see value in, but it's always something like, okay, this is very valuable. How could no one else see that? Um, but you can see that and then you can repair things and make them like they're brand new again. I also see here too, with the Seven of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, people think that you have a lot of options. Um, people think that you're able to change things. Um, like you're able to make the wind blow where you want it to. You're able to move things in the way that you want. So I think people see you guys as someone who's really powerful, um, really ambitious. So it's like you have an ambition where people think that you're going to do whatever it takes to get there or you're going to push through. You're going to find creative ways that resourcefulness coming through again to make it happen no matter what. I also think some of you guys have a, um, a business acumen with the page of pentacles here as well like people think you're smart business wise you also have street smarts but like business smarts as well like you're smart in multiple different ways and i also see here as well like one thing people will say about you is maybe people think 
you're a little bit distant here with the four of cups. Like um, you come across as someone who could be in their own world. Like you're paying attention to your like, like you're paying attention to your own like daydreams or your own visions of things. Or maybe you like you talk to yourself in your head about like something you saw like online or a conversation you had with a friend, like you'll think about it yourself and just keep discussing it with yourself. Um, so you kind of come across as someone who's in your own world or just a little distant in a way. Um, maybe people think that sometimes you're hard to connect to because of that. And I also think here as well, like you guys, people could be saying you're intimidating because with that, that thriftiness, that stability feeling, the coming across as being like wealthy, whether you are or not, your strong ambition, the way you're able to direct things, that's really intimidating to people. So maybe people are more distant to you, but like they want to reach out here with that cup in the four of cups, but like they're afraid that you're not going to like them or they're afraid they're not going to be good enough for you. So that's something else people say. Um, when they're talking about you, like, oh, I want to talk to so-and-so, but they kind of seem scary <laughs> or they seem distant, they seem aloof, like, how can I reach them? But a positive thing I see here, even though you're in your own world or you come across as being in your own world, I feel like you guys are someone who is romantic. Um, so you might like romance or you like, like, romance novels um, or, like, like kind of soap opera type of shows and dramas maybe. But I also see this too, like you guys could romanticize a lot of things in life. Like like I said, like um, you're someone who's daydreaming. So maybe that's why you like to thrift things because sometimes like you find an old item and you're thinking about um, the different lives that one item had, the different owners that item could have had. And like you think of things in a creative way an, ideal, an idealistic way, a romantic way, kind of like how an artist or a creative type of person would think of things. Um, you guys think of the value, the backstory of just like everyday common items. I also see here too with the lovers, this could mean like people see you as someone who would potentially be a good person to be in a relationship with. Um, they see you as a lover um, a romantic person, not just because it's like, okay, you're into romance. Like people feel that in your aura, your energy, you might have a romantic sense of style, like, um, lace, particular types of silhouettes and colors that would be more so described as romantic. This could be you guys as well. Like the way you come across is that way, but this is what people are saying about you guys. So I'm going to put down a couple more cards and see what else comes through. So we have Morgan, Death and Magic, Ariane Rod, Time, Engineer, and Healer. So you guys are once again intimidating with Morgan here, um, but in a powerful way or a way like people think you're like elegant, you're graceful. Um, they think you're on a higher level than them. Not that you wouldn't talk to them or... You know, it's not like they're bad either. It's just people kind of see you and I feel like they're insecure. So they think, oh, like this person's too good for me. But like you would probably gladly talk to these people and be their friend. But like people are intimidated by you for some reason. And I feel like you guys have this transformative energy as well. Um, like you're able to take things like, like again, the thrifting, I keep picking that up. Like maybe you get a piece of furniture like a chair that's kind of really like, you know, it's kind of worn. Uh, it's seen better days, but you're able to take that chair and maybe you're able to fix it up. You're able to stain it, sand it. Like you're able to take items and transform them. Or you also, this could be a metaphor for like, maybe you help people transform themselves or their own ideas when they talk to you. And that's why they get intimidated because it's like, you are smart. Um, they think of you, they're like, wow, like you're smart enough to be an engineer or to do something very technical, you know, like a uh, technical fields can be very challenging to do, even if you are smart. So it's like people talk to you and you have transformative ideas, like how an engineer would or someone very 
intelligent would. And that's why they're intimidated because it's like you have this gracefulness, you have this um, romantic energy about you, like um, like a beauty, and then it's like you're also smart and intelligent, so that can scare people because you have like a little bit of everything there. And with time, a Ryan Rod, I'm not saying that right. I'm not sure if I am, but um, with this goddess, it talks about, you know, making time, having time. I feel like you guys are able to make things like the right place, the right time. Um, you're in the right place at the right time, or you have options you're able to create for yourself. We had the Seven of Cups previously, so that makes me think of that, like being able to have many options. People think that about you. They always think like, even if you were down on your luck, they see you and they're like, you know, you're going to find a way no matter what, because you're smart, you're beautiful, and you just know how to do things. Like you're resourceful. How could, how could you not succeed? People think that about you. And with healer, I also feel that when people talk to you, the words you say, or I feel like just being in your presence is healing for people. Um, maybe you say things that are very enlightening or you make people reflect on their own life and how they have to transform themselves because they see, they see you being able to transform things, transform your own life. Um, and they then feel inspired to do the same. So in a way it's like by you just being you, you heal other people, you influence them to change their own lifestyle, their own ideals and what they do in their life. But that's what I'm picking up for you guys for what's the gossip on you, what people are thinking about you. Group number one, I hope you guys like this reading. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video and subscribing. And hit the notification bell if you haven't yet so you don't miss any other readings like this. And I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. With your cards here, we have the Devil, the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles, the world, and strength. So what I see here for what's the gossip on you is that I feel like people might look at you with the devil card and there's something different about you or rebellious. So in some ways, like maybe people think of you as someone who's like an outsider with like your appearance. So this isn't for everyone, but something I'm instantly picking up here. Um, this card makes me think of tattoos piercings like um the chain in the middle under the devil's feet it for some reason makes me think of a septum piercing like the piercing um in your nose or there's something here like you have piercings or tattoos or you have a style that's different in some way but maybe because it's different um some people might unfairly gossip about you or be like oh like um you know they want to be different <laughs> like you know how people are kind of just haters sometimes People might be doing that to you or have done that to you um, because of your unique style or there's something about you that's different, but it kind of feels like alternative. Um, but I also see here as well with the devil, a lot of people think like you're secretly attractive. So maybe people won't act that way towards you. Like even those same people who are hating on you, they might actually be attracted to you here with the devil. Like they view you as someone who is a temptation or... Or, like, they're attracted to you because they feel like um, it's, like, taboo, which just makes you, which just makes you more attractive to them. So, this person's kind of a hater or these people I'm picking up. <laughs> but a positive thing about this, I feel, is that you guys stand out. And because you stand out, you're able to take more risk. Or because you have some opposition against you, um, it makes you more likely to succeed because you're used to having to take charge and go at things with some opposition. Like a lot of people have trouble doing that. And some people are lucky and privileged enough to always have support. But I feel like you guys aren't like that. Like you always had a little bit of difficulty here with the devil, but it's making you successful or it makes you be seen as someone who's really cool, unique, um, someone who's special and different in some way that's going to make you succeed. Um, maybe having a unique lifestyle as well. So people might be amazed by your drive to go against the grain of how things are expected. So like, let's say even if your appearance isn't like different or unique, you're still doing something 
that other people see as different, taboo, which like, again, like, it doesn't mean it actually is bad. Like, this is just how people are perceiving it. But a lot of these people secretly like it. They secretly, they secretly like it. They secretly like what you're doing. And in a way, like, I feel like they envy you. They want to be like you because you, again, like you're different and you're just ready to go out there and not care how, pe how people think about you with the Three of Wands and the Page of Swords. Um, this is an energy that you have to develop <laughs> through like hardship, difficulty. You don't just get this energy. Like um, you guys are people who, who worked hard to be this way and just stand out and not care anymore. With the Six of Pentacles here, I also feel like you guys are really generous. So you're someone, your friends or your family might think like, you know, you're willing to do anything to help people. Like if someone lost their job or they were like evicted because they didn't have rent to pay their rent, um, you're someone who would let them stay with you until they got on their feet. You're someone who helps people when they're down. You don't kick people when they're at their most difficult, like how some other people would, like you uplift people and you make them feel like there's a place for them, like things are going to improve for them. Um, like you're really someone, people view you as a blessing. So like I said, you might have some haters, but the people who love you really do love you. Like they really like you and appreciate you. And that's what matters the most, right? Um, so you guys have people who really they view you as the world, like you're their world, like um, you're like the center of their universe, the apple of their eye. Um, there's people who really care about you and they're glad that you're different. They're glad that you're unique and they're glad that you're not like cookie cutter, just like everyone else. Like, you know, you're not basic. <laughs> you're really different and that's what makes you special. People talk about you behind your back in a positive way about this as well. Like, um, people wish they were as unique as you. They wish they were um, able to be as generous as you too because like you also have such a kind heart. I'm picking up here. Um, the people that you have previously helped are very grateful for you. Like you made it possible for their world to be better and you helped them through times where they needed strength like you were their strength. So you're someone um, who makes other people feel strong during difficult times. Like um, you're someone who is reliable, responsible. People can trust you. Um, like you're a real friend, someone who's actually loyal and people, you know, at the end of the day, they know you're going to be there. Um, or maybe you guys are like the 2 a.m. friend. People can call you at 2 a.m. and ask for help and you're like, okay, I got it. And you go over to their house or, you know, wherever they are and you help them out. Um, and you want people to do that for you too, and hopefully they do, but people know that you're going to do that for them. They can depend on you when they can't depend on other people. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards for you guys and see what else comes through. Okay, so with these cards here, we have Iris Communication, Ocean Generosity, Advocate, and Networker. So I also feel like something people talk about a lot is your ability to communicate clear and directly. So maybe you guys are able to tell people um, things very clearly in a way that makes it easier to talk to you. Like when people communicate with you, there's no games to play. You're just like, yes, no, that's what it is. <laughs> you're not playing like mind games when you're communicating with people. So people really like that about you. But then, as I said, you got a couple haters in your energy where there's some people who... They don't like how you're direct to them, but I think this is a good thing. Um, remember, this is just what other people think. So like you do have people who are supportive of you and really like you guys, but there's a couple of people I'm picking up who aren't, they're kind of mean people. Like maybe it's people you work with or like previous people you, you used to hang out with. Now you don't like there's something here like that. Um, people in your energy, a couple of them who aren't really nice. So these people who aren't really nice, um, they don't like how you have good communication skills. They don't like how you're direct. Um, maybe you have told these people directly something, which is good for you, but for them, it, it has stung them because you're able to uh, communicate so directly. Um, but I see here as well with 
ocean, generosity. You have the generosity card twice in a way because the Six of Pentacles talks about generosity. And this goddess here is also very generous. Um, she's all about abundance. And I also think um, dancing is related to her, like feelings of joy, celebration, like happiness. Like you make people feel like they're in the presence of like ultimate abundance and happiness. Um, people feel a lot of joy from you and it's because you're so generous. Like you're not really just generous with your material possessions. You're also generous with your time and your energy, your thoughts, your communication. Um, like when you connect with people, you really connect with them and you're not just saying things just to say things. Like you're really going to be listening to someone. You're going to be responding to them clearly in a way that makes them feel safe and supported. And with advocate here, that makes me think of that too. Like you're fighting for people. You're willing to listen to them and give them a helping hand when they're in a rough place and people really love that about you. I feel like this is a rare ability to have to just like, you know, listen to people, help them out. Like you guys have this, but it's like, it's coming from your heart, not just to be like, you know, you don't want views from social media because you're helping people. You don't want people to think you're a good person. You just do this because you are a good person. You truly actually care about um, helping people out. And with networker too, like maybe you guys are someone, people talk about you because like with your great communication skills, you have a wide network of people. You have a lot of friends or a lot of people know who you are. Um, so maybe you're the friend like you're constantly talking to people, bumping into people you know, and then um, maybe someone you're hanging out with, they're like, how do you know all these people? Um, because that friend only knows you and a couple others, but you know everyone, you know so many people because of this um, unique energy you have and because of your ability to communicate so truly to people, people really resonate with you and want to be around you. That's why you have this big network of people and they're like, hey, it's you. And people want to talk to you because they know they're always going to get something there um, that's valuable. So that's what I'm picking up for what's the gossip on you, group number two. I hope you guys like the reading. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video and subscribing hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos like this. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. You have the Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So what I see here is that there's a lot of wands. So I feel like something people might talk about when it comes to you is that you're creative or you have a lot of fiery energy. So like, I feel like you guys are willing to stand your ground um, or you're stubborn with your opinions. Like you're not going to change your mind easily um, because everything you're thinking, everything you're doing, it's truly coming from your own heart, your own mind, your own soul. You guide yourself very strongly. Um, you have strong principles, strong ideals you want to follow. People recognize that about you and they talk about it. Like uh, you have integrity. You're not willing to bend or compromise because someone else wants you to. And with the hermit, this very much so gives kind of like a loner energy. So like maybe you have a couple people around you, um, like cl close friends, close family, but I feel like you guys are fine with being alone, or if you weren't, you learn to be okay with being alone. Uh, like I said, like this loner energy, doing things by yourself, being able to stand by yourself in the face of opposition or different opinions um, with the wands and the hermit card. But this is really great energy. Um, you guys are someone people admire because you're able to withstand things on your own. You're able to have your own life your own goals, even if even if that means you're alone sometimes, even if that means you're walking on your own path that's different from other people. Um, a lot of people don't have that skill or ability to do things on their own or follow their own path. A lot of people fall into like 
peer pressure. They follow the crowd because they don't want to be socially ostracized or, you know, they don't want to be left out. But I feel like you guys, you're always going to be sticking to what you believe in. You're always going to be following what you believe in, even if other people don't agree with it. And this is something people, again, like, where else can you find this? Like, this is from you. And with the Queen of Wands, too, I feel like um, whether you guys know it or not, if you have this ability, this ability comes from a strong sense of confidence. So it's like even if you're at your lowest low, you still support yourself. You still have a self-esteem, whereas other people won't have that. They, they will be sad without external validation. So when it comes to you, people know if they were to like insult you or try to bring you down. Like if anything, that's just going to embolden you and make you feel more strong with what, what you're doing, what you're thinking. Um, for some reason too, like I'm picking up on like Taurus type of energy or vibes um, because it makes me think of the bull with its horns, it's ready to charge anyone who's not agreeing with them. And the bull is standing ground like, this is what I believe in. I'm not changing it. Very strong energy. But like, uh, Taurus is an earth sign, but I'm picking up fiery energy. But I just wanted to say that because bulls themselves, even though it's, I guess it's like an earth sign, it makes me think of um, fiery energy still. So maybe you guys are someone who's both grounded but you're also willing to take action and be courageous when needed. That's why I'm thinking of that. Um, but I also see here too, um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Swords here, and the Eight of Wands, I feel like you guys are able to bring things in quickly um, due to your own choices. Like you ponder things, you think things over before you take action because what you are doing People might see you guys as strategic. You try to plan things to go your way. You try to take action so you have results quickly to what you want. Um, you want to make actions that make your life change drastically here with the Wheel of Fortune. Like you're fighting for changes in your life. Um, you're not someone who just does whatever, whenever, just because. Like, you're thinking about all your decisions and you're you're planning things out in a way so it always is improving your life. It's making you better off. And this could be why you have that loner energy because not a lot of people have your discipline. Not a lot of people can sacrifice to make, you know, the best choice. Some people will be like, nah, instead of working towards um, you know, more stability, let's say financially. A lot of people might just decide to party instead, or they might decide to do a lot of things that kind of throw their life away, but you don't do that. You're like, no, I'm willing to sacrifice to make the changes in my life that will bring me greatness, that will bring me satisfaction, or you're not going to compromise your morals or your ideals, like how the hermit, you know, the hermit wouldn't do that. Um, you're following what you believe in strongly, that's why you have that that sense of integrity. Um, you can't be like blackmailed because it's like you have that strong sense of this is me. I'm never I'm never doing what I don't agree with. <laughs> um, that's what I keep picking up. But overall with these cards, I'm just picking up that you guys, people think of you as confident, a little bit of a loner, um, someone who's strong and independent, strategic and is willing to be courageous and stand up um, when you need to stand up for yourself, other people, and you're willing to constantly, like, improve your life. Like, maybe you guys are someone, too. Like, you do a lot of self-improvement. Like, kind of like uh, maybe some of you guys are living a monastic lifestyle. Like, no drugs, no alcohol, no partying. Like, there's something here that's, like, strong discipline um, to shape yourself into, like, the greatest version that you can be. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards for you guys and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have Isis, Rebirth, Scold, The Future, Child Nature, and Vampire. So um, this makes me think that you learn a lot from like other people's experiences. So maybe you observe people and you learn a lot from their life and you're like, okay, like, 
this person did X, Y, and Z, and that's why I'm not going to follow it (laughs) because it didn't work out. Like, you don't really need to learn things, I feel, the hard way. You learn from other people's mistakes so you don't repeat it. Like, sometimes people have to learn by making that mistake themselves, but I feel like you guys are very intelligent in a way that you can kind of sense that something's not going to work out before you do it. So this prevents you from uh, making some mistakes other people have had to learn from themselves. I also think with the future here, um, scold this goddess. I don't know. I don't think I'm saying that right. A lot of these goddesses have like names. I'm not sure how to pronounce, but um, I really like this card because her message is like, with the future, this makes me think of you guys always thinking about your future. Like I said, like with that self-improvement, maybe you're trying to always make, um, you know, the right choice. Doesn't mean it has to be right for everyone, but you're trying to make the right choice for you and your future. You're trying to make your future the greatest it possibly can be. And with Isis too, it's interesting because I, with the rebirth, I'm picking up like, you know, past lives. Like maybe you had a lot of crazy past lives. So this one, you're really trying to be disciplined because you already had a lot of partying or maybe in this life you did some of that and now you're changing drastically because I'm picking up that energy in the past, like a past life, or it could be past life in the sense like you used to do that in your own past. So now it's like a new life because you're not, you're not focusing on that. You're not doing that. Um, but people can sense from you, you're really mature and disciplined. Um, maybe because like you had an old group of people you party with, they're like, wow, you're like a different person now um, because you're not doing all those activities you used to. Um, I picked that up as well. But other people also might think of you as someone who's very future oriented. You're always trying to figure out how, like, how can I get, um, this is just an example, how can I get the best scores so I can get into the best college, something like that. Like you're always thinking of the future and how to make it the best version it can. And I also want to say here too, with like vampire and the child card here, I feel like you guys could be psychic or something like that. Um, or if you do spiritual energy work, or in general, you're someone who's very sensitive to energies. So it's like you have to be very selective and careful with who you're spending time with. Maybe that's why you're a little bit of a loner. I'm picking that up um, because you have to guard and protect your own energy. Because if you're around people who are very negative, it's going to make you feel very negative. If you're around people who are very positive and uplifting, you feel positive and uplifted. Um, Your energy is very dependent on who's around you, not because you're not spiritually mature, but because you're very like in tune in a psychic way. Like you can sense people's energy. Like you can look at someone and be like, I know this person has had a difficult life or I know this person has had a really easy, good life Um, because you can sense that energy you tune in. So you probably have to spend a bit of time alone Um, or people might sometimes um, be offended like if you cancel plans because you don't want to be around that energy or you don't want to be around too much energy like even if it's good energy like like, let's say it's at a concert where everyone's cheering um, like if you were the artist on stage right that artist is getting all the energy from the people in that audience cheering them on that must feel really great Um, But for you, it's like, even if it's great energy, that's too much energy for you because you're so sensitive to it. Um, So I feel like you're better off like around um, like quiet environments, like people notice that about you, like you are someone who might be more of an animal person, like cats and dogs, like uh, people will say like, oh, you know, um, they're better off like being at home with the dog or the cat. Um, or maybe even like a farm, like people can't imagine you living someplace where things are really bustling, um, because it might be overwhelming for you. Not all the time, but for you, it's like you have to protect your energy. So overall, that's what I'm picking up, uh, for what's the gossip on you, what people are saying about you, what they're thinking about you and your energy. So I hope you guys like the reading group number three. I thought this was a really cool reading. Um, Let me know what you thought about in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video, subscribing if you haven't yet, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss future readings like this. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Bye.